Hello, welcome to my very first YouTube video. It's cold, so I'm wearing my hat, but otherwise I'm ready to go. Let's see if you recognize this game. It's a classic, in my opinion. Back from From Software's early days, kind of going with the theme of what I'm making in my Twitch channel. Asking Entertainment. But unlike the Twitch channel, this isn't a blind playthrough. I've played it before when I was younger, but it's been a while. From Software, one of their first games in the US, I believe, but not their first in the series. I wanted to play it on my PS2, but I couldn't figure out how to get it to stream, and so I figured I'd just play it on an emulator on my computer. Oof, story time. A mysterious darkness conquered the island of Marinette. There was either a god or a demon who controlled the island. And no one tried to go there. Good old PlayStation 1. A high elf in the forest told of a blue light that came down from the sky and struck the island. The blue light penetrated deep into the island's underworld. And the underworld was never the same. Look out the window. But just for a second. No, no dilly dallying. Just, just kind of, as I'm walking, just keep walking. For hundreds of years, the island had been carved by people who were challenged and destroyed by the island's energy. That energy. Just, the island has an energy. I've always found that kind of funny. I love the music in these games, Legends though. Say Never approach the island, for a sleeping beast in the darkness waits for a great awakening. <laughs> Welcome. To Kingsfield, 1995. So I'm playing an emulator, but I'm not going to use any save states. I'm going to play it like I normally would, well, would have on my PlayStation 2. So memory card saves, all that. Although I did tweak the graphics a little bit, so it looks a little better. There might be a couple little issues, like that little line you see right there, but overall the game's going to be crisper, so it'll be nice. All right. So it's been a while since I've played this. But I remember something being over here, and I believe it's magic up this tower here. Those little blue fireballs, I th think you can actually kill them, but I don't think it does anything. Like, they don't drop anything from what I remember, and I don't even know if they give you XP. I'll have to find out. The fire crystal. You know what? I found it here. I'm going to use it here. Magic learned. Guess what the magic is? No, it is not snowball. It's fireball. And I can now. If I, come on, down off the plat. There we go. This game has a unique control system because back in PlayStation days, there were no analog sticks, so they had to try to find. Ooh, I'll take that herb. They had to find ways to get the controls to be able to look up and down, left and right, and still be able to move back forward, left and right, without, like, having two analog sticks. They only had the D-pad. So they did what I thought was a pretty... Uh, those things can knock you off. This game... These games was what kind of started the whole Dark Souls difficulty level that's known nowadays. Combat is definitely different. But this is, like, these games can be very unforgiving. It's not some. Well, it's not something where 
you know, you just, you die and you get another life. It literally, you die, and unless you have a save, then you're, you're back to that save point, no matter how far back that save point is. Like in Dark Souls and such, if you die, you'll lose your experience, but you're still, whatever items you had, you're, they're still there, and you can still be okay. Ooh, a chess piece. I will take that. Let's put that on. Oh, 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 there we go. Breastplate. Oh, I know they have details on these things. So I could have sworn they did. Maybe it's, I know the second game has details on them. Maybe this game doesn't. Second game does. But basically, if you die in this game, no matter what you receive, nothing. Even if you like leveled up and kept your experience points, you literally lose it all and back to your last save point. So keeping keeping in mind your save points is super important. Imagine playing Dark Souls and you go to a bonfire, it saves you there, and then you go through and you literally finish a whole area and you're you're walking out, you beat the boss, and as you're walking out you happen to fall off a platform and die. It doesn't save your progress in this game, you lose everything. So saving is super important. And which normally when playing an emulator, like even that dragonfly above my head could have been dangerous because it could have knocked me off of here, and then I would literally start from the very beginning of the game again. Oh, hello. Fisherman. How are you That's the dragonfly. I was gonna say you have some gastrointestine issues going on. Yeah. One thing you'll notice in this game is there are leashing, a lot more so than in Dark Souls. You'll have creatures that can't even leave the room they're in, which you kind of use to the advantage because in this game you don't have the same maneuverability you would in like Dark Souls or Demon Souls. Okay, let's see what this fisherman says. You like blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you look like the person that was on the ship that wrecked a few days ago. Wait, wait. So I literally wrecked a few days ago, and I've been just little sitting on that mound of dirt or knocked out on that mound of dirt the whole time. All right. But it was hard to believe that you were able to make it to shore. Usually, when a ship wrecks out there, no one makes it here alive, except for those who are trades. Wait, wait. <laughs> so, so their ships will still wreck, but the tradesmen they happen to make it, and they're okay. <laughs> Without a ship, it's they have those tradesman skills that get them through the water onto the island, no problem. <laughs> uh, anything else? I came here to look for the Vikings' treasure, but this island is filled with poison, and now I can't live without the water on this island. I cannot leave. So it must be a poison that the water cures, but if you don't have the water, it still kills you. Let's see. Let's talk to him again and see what he says. See that lighthouse over there? It was made by the King Harving a long time ago. It still works, though, as it is lit by the magic powers of the mage. Says Sezdek. Sezdek. How to say Sedek? <laughs> There's no T. Don't look at the T. It's Sedek. You can easily go over there if you go through the shallow water. Be careful and watch out for Sigils, the dangerous sea monsters. I guess it gets those fish. But I already got over there. I already grabbed that. It's pretty dangerous around here. When you go inside this island, you will see so many monsters. The Kraken's nest is especially dangerous. Don't go near it. Oh, really? Really, you say? There are some people living on this island, as well as sea merchants. You better go explore this place. Just just not the Kraken nest. <sighs> Alright, was that everything else? Do you have anything else to say to me? The village is behind the wooden door. I think you need a special equipment to survive. You have to hurry. Why do I have to hurry? You're not in a hurry. You're literally sitting on a rock fishing in the shallow waters. And you're telling me to hurry? Hmm. I'll grab that. I did take a little bit of damage, but not very much, so... Ooh, what is this? Yep, yep. Oh, and then like, like in Dark Souls and Demon Souls and such. Actually, I don't know about Demon Souls. Um, I never actually played Demon Souls. I will someday. Uh, I don't. I don't know about Bloodborne yet either. But Dark Souls for sure. You know how there's secret doors. This follows the Dark Souls. Ow! That was almost really bad. It follows the, uh, oh, I missed. It follows the same kind of secret doors that some of the Dark Souls 2 doors follow, where you have to actually go up to 
click on it. Man, I'm awful at this now. Oh, now I'm poisoned? Oh, I don't have any way to heal my poison. Uh, okay, if I get hit, I'm, I'm gonna be dead, and then I'm gonna freaking... Okay, let's try... Just, maybe I'm too weak to go in this area. Because I'm literally poisoned now, and I bet any of those monsters will kill me one hit, and there's a dead end. Actually, wait, no, antidote. Yes, give me. Antidote, come hither. There's a way, there used to be a way to check and see, oops, what an item, like, did for you. I'll have to look and see, maybe my bindings aren't correct yet. But, there we go. Heals you a little bit. See, like, like in Dark Souls 2, you don't attack the walls, you have to actually go and, like, activate them. So, you'll notice a lot of the gameplay I'll be doing will be some of this. Just la 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 la. Oh. Okay, I didn't open that. <laughs> but they, in, in from soft fashion, they decided to put a trap door in front of the treasure chest. <laughs> wow, this dagger is so short. I have to be like right on them. And you'll notice me kind of going back and forth. If I'm next to them too long, they'll end up hitting me with an attack. But if I kind of jump in, get them, and jump back out, and I say jump in a, in a very loose fashion, there's not actually any jumping per se in this game. You know, I can do it without getting hit. Some creatures you want to do that, some you want to try to hit from the side and kind of, ah, ooh, that actually doesn't hurt too bad. It's just that, uh, ah, poison again. Okay. Ooh, what do you got? You got a dagger? Is it better than the dagger I have? No, just, I have two daggers now. <laughs> There's no dual wielding in this game, unfortunately. You have to watch out for chests too. There's not mimics, but there's definitely chests with with traps inside of them, or you know, poison gas, or skeletons, or whatever. So I'm gonna need to use this earth herb, and I'm just gonna be poisoned, I guess, for right now. All right, let's jump down here. Oh, it's a door. Oh, a safe spot. Yes, I'm going to use this. That way, at least if I die, I have a chance of trying to survive. I really don't want to start over. This game is very un unforgivable when it comes to deaths. Alright, it's saving. <laughs> Alright, and this here, I don't remember exactly what those guideposts are for. I think... I, I don't remember. It's been a long time. Ooh, I'm not poisoned anymore. I wonder if saving cures poison. I'll have to test that theory later. Anything? No? Empty? Probably should have looked behind me before I came in here looking at buckets, huh? Oh, I'm fine. Bones. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, hello. I've got a... He's a soldier of Verdite, which is where the character, the main character is from. He's, a, I believe, the prince of the king of Verdite. I, actually, no. That's the second game. This is just a, uh, a friend of the king, I believe. Stargate. Fun movie. <laughs> Alright, let's check for secrets. And also, you want to be careful too, because you might activate a trap and you'll have spears come and stab you in the face. So, look for secrets at your own discretion. I believe later on you're able to. Ooh, I'm back in that poison place. Ooh, what's this say? <laughs> Danger ahead. Well, I could. Ooh. Um. Uh. Oh, you see how I kind of jumped, I guess? You ra you can kind of ramp off the poison guys. And, ooh, what's that? Crystal. Alright. I wonder, you're kind of in here by yourself. I wonder if you drop something. Let's see, fireball. Oh, this dagger is so short. There we go. Be like right on top of it. Uh, just gold and only two. Ah, let's see what these have. I wonder if there's any secrets. I'm gonna be eaten in the back, aren't I? Oh, and I know I'm not looking to see if a door opens, but you can hear it pretty well. So I'm not too worried about missing a secret. Oh, I bet. Oh, I'm gonna get chewed on in the back. Let's see. Oh, hello. You'll notice there's two ow, bars. Oh, I didn't get poisoned that time. You'll notice two bars under like the numbers, my HP and MP. Level up, nice. 
the two bars, the orange one is my stamina. I have to wait for it to refill before I can, well, at least get something in there before I can attack again. But if I keep attacking before it's full, the attacks are weaker. So I get a full attack. Ah, oh, I got poisoned again. That's my last healing herb. So you don't want to just swing all the time because the attack's going to be weaker, so it's kind of pointless to just do that. Is there a secret here? It looks like there'd be a secret here. Or is it just a dead end room? It might just be a dead end room. Well, the poison doesn't last very long, so I don't think it was the save. That yeah, dead end room. Okay. Uh, this is kind of near where I saved, right? Yeah. Okay, I came from here. And, hey, didn't he say that the... Uh, oh, it's the lizard... Wait, didn't I start in here? No, because there's supposed to be a chest with like a trap door. I need to go through that door, actually. But magic, on the other hand, you can't use early. You have to wait for it to be fully charged. And that lizard's gonna, not lizard, that snail's gonna try to poison me. Locked, oh, come on. Where do I go? I bet I have to take out that snail. They're not very fast, thankfully. You'll notice about the snail is I can't... I can't attack the shell part. It does literally nothing. But the neck is fine. Oh, missed. Dagger's so short. There we go. Drop a key, come on. You've dropped nothing. And you've been really disinterested this whole time. Ah, Jukia. Yeah, you're gonna drop the key. Level up. And no key. Uh -huh. Stargate? Nothing, nothing happens. Thank you. Sounds like skeletons in there, though. Let's see, this is just that dead end. Don't you even try. I cut you. Is, is there a way out this way? Did I just miss it? Oh, let's see, maybe. Oh yeah, okay. Up the stairs. Which I did fall down anyways, right? So, makes sense. Ooh, another healing herb. Ooh, ah, it's broken. Say anything? <laughs> a broken sword. Thank you. This game likes to be obvious. Let's, let's cut you down to size. Shall we? Oh, 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 oh. Aha. Oh, hello. You are being sneaky, ain't ya? Oh, juke ya, haha. You do a lot of juking in this game. You want them to think they're going one way. Come on, recharge. There we go. You want them to think you're going right and then you go left and get behind them. Sam, there's not very many enemies that can attack you from behind. I don't think there's actually any enemies that can attack you from behind unless they use magic. But, that's alright with me. Let's see, bones? Bones. Uh, antidote. And, ooh, that's where I came from. So, I should be able... There's nothing in there, is there? Or did I already grab it? I might have already grabbed it. Secret, maybe? fall off. Okay. Mm, nope, no secret. I should get a turbo. Turn on the turbo. My controller's in my Ooh, treasure chest. What you got for me? 30 gold? Alright, I'll take it. I mean, the squid dropped 30 gold too, so you're not that special treasure chest. Oh, come on. Yeah, I have to use the R and L buttons to strafe and look up and down. 13 gold and a healing and bow, there's something extra right there, is it? No, it's just a, that's just a foot. <laughs> that, that is just a foot. Now that extra. Ooh, more healing herbs. Healing? Healing herbs? That's not even a word. I mean, I guess eels are words. Ooh. That looks like a mask. It is. It's the iron mask. Not to be confused with the man in the iron mask, even though I'm a man in an iron mask. Not the same thing. What is this? Looks tasty. It is tasty. Hello, squid. You cannot be around and taint my water. 
Get out of here. Where did you come from? Give me that healing, healing herb. 25 gold. Oh no. You don't get to just attack me. Looking forward to getting a longer blade though. I don't like moves like this could cool level up. I'll take it and more healing herbs. Empty, empty. They don't put anything in their barrels. It's more of a decoration, it seems. Oh, that I missed. Ah, I didn't do it. He got squished. Which I don't know, would a blade really work on a... I don't have a key, do I? I don't. Just shove that crystal in there, it'll work. Secret, secret, ooh, secret. Oh, hello. Ooh, the skeleton's probably gonna kill me. They are normally pretty... Pretty mean. This sword looks like it's made out of the same bone. Oh, <laughs> knocked his head off. <sighs> no, no, no. I'm not gonna let you hit me. And thankfully, they did change things a bit as the, se the series went on. What's this? Ooh, a little shield. Let's see. Equipment. Oop, nope. They qu Equipment? Shield, I'm getting all sorts of gear. Put that on. And as you'll notice, my stats, right? Stats, strength. Here we go. you notice how they have... They were kind of, I think, pretty much at zero, but you can see my defense, my offense. Yeah. Any more? Sometimes they have secrets inside of secrets. Let's see. I still hear a skeleton making noise, but that could just be nearby and not from this room, yeah. There we go. Yeah, see, you can hear that noise pretty well, so even though... Did I get hurt? No, I did not. Even though you're not looking when you push the button, you can still hear the door open. Uh, I've been in here already. I don't really have a map, I don't believe. So it's kind of all based off of, I guess, what you remember? That was here I was in, wasn't it? So maybe I haven't been in here yet. Open sesame. And no, that compass up top does not say sex. Get your mind out of the gutter. Notice the kind of the combat seems to be fast and slow and kind of back and forth. This game always had a bit of a frame rate issue, even on the original system. It would kind of speed up and slow down. They fixed it a lot with the second one, technically the third one, but second one in the United States. But I've never actually played the first one either from Japan. I'll have to mark that off my list sometime if you guys are interested in seeing it. See how y'all think about this video. I know he said something about a wooden door leading to a village. Hmm. Ooh, what's this? Medical herbs for sale. Al Hunt. How about I get him for free from the barrel? Hmm, what's this? Hello? Oh, hello. I didn't want to go that way yet. No, you stay over there. I'm still exploring over here. Oh, red slime. And this game's not very linear either. The uh, second one ended up being more linear, but this one you kind of... I mean, there's some line linearity to it, but like I could have explored more outside the shore. I could go inside more. I could have gone up that bridge. It's very easy to get lost in this game. Ooh, the village. Let's clear out some monsters for these, these villagers. Ooh, strength gate. Now my dagger is even more powerful. I'm out of magic points. MP, as it's called. So, dagger is what I got. Oh, well, I was too late. Oh, but I got a crystal shard. This looks like a crystal shard. What is it? Crystal shard. <laughs> J 
jamming out to the music. But I missed any gun eating. Level up, level up. Jamming out to this village beats. There's a vicious dragonfly I kept trying. Ah, ah, ow. Oh, <laughs> forget. Okay, when you kill the dragonfly, you actually cut it in half, and its tail stays alive for a second longer and tries to stab you once more when you go in for whatever it dropped. <laughs> so you gotta watch out for them. Ah, ah, and apparently you had friends. Oh, get out of here. No, get out. No, no. Get out of here. You going so I can't reach you? I see how it is. I see how it is. I take my ball and go home. No, not really. Give me that gold. Come on. There we go. It's my gold. I worked hard for the money. I hear you trying to come closer. Ugh. That's right. See, watch the tail still there. If you get close to it, it'll stab you right in the butt. Oh. There we go. More, but is everyone dead in this village? I don't remember. Looks like it. I'm trying to. Ow! Poisoned me, but I have an antidote. I have one antidote. Stun lock you. That's right. Ooh. Another crystal. Oh, there we go. I didn't even need to worry about saving that one. I can just get another one. Hello? Anybody home? Any stuff I can take? Oh, go away. Jamming out here. Oh, I just took you guys out a lot already. I don't need to do it again. I've already gained all the strength I need. Actually, no, I just don't want to fight him up. Man, I am zooming through here. Just bam, it's like a speed run. Uh, Alright, uh, wait, I missed a pathway this way, didn't I? I could turn it a different way. I could go, nope, is that a secret door? Nope. And this just goes back up. Okay, so. Hmm. Let's see, I can go either over the bridge and face the guard, which I don't. I don't think I'm strong enough for that. Or I can go downstairs. Oh, hello. Or that way. So I can go across the bridge. I can go uh, south. So I can go south or I can go east. Or I can explore outside some more. Hmm. I don't... I, it's been so long since I've played this game, especially like all the way through that I don't remember which way I want to go first. All I remember is you want to get that fireball first because it does help. Ooh, hello. This is, ooh, hello. Dragonfly and shallow water and waterfall. Waterfalls always hide secrets, don't they? Waterfalls, they always hide your secrets. Oh, hello. Ooh, what is this? Can I open it? Uh, 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 oh, I can. Ooh, ooh, that, I want that. That is a crystal flask. Can I open this one? Locked. Oh, come on. Ooh, hello. Ooh, and I get a wind crystal. Nice. Oh, you're, you're kind of, you're kind of, you're both kind of block. Ah, man, you spit that out fast. Let's see if I can, can, can I take you out fast? Come on, don't turn. Yeah. Let's get you out of here. Thankfully, they don't they don't just turn and bite you. you gotta hit them just there. You go. Get out of here. Any secrets? What's it say? The King of Winds, King Harvine the Third, had started to construct his castle here. <laughs> so he started, and then it was like, nah, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> So this is this is literally he started got this far and was like nope let's go somewhere else <laughs> what oh. I mean granted there's you know you don't want poisonous snails in your living room so I'm a, you know I understand that speaking of poisonous snails wind crystal now that crystal flask is gonna be nice because I can hold some healing water in there magic learn what was it is it 
Ooh, wind cutter. Let's try that out a little bit. Well, I don't even have any magic points to use. So I can't try it out, but it's a thought that counts, right? And let's go ahead and drink some juice. Drink some juice, and then I'm gonna go ahead and run back to the save point. Cause that's all I'm doing for today for my first video. I'm testing out the upload. I wish that wasn't broken. I'm testing out the upload speed. I'm testing out how everything works. So it's kind of a shorter video today. But I am definitely going to be playing some more. So thanks for stopping by. Hope you had as much fun as I did checking out this classic from my childhood. And let's go ahead and save. It's thinking. There we go. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Take care. I know I look different now than how I did in the video, but I had to re-record this end card because the first recording didn't have audio, and that's important. <laughs> so here's my end card, and I'll have this art pop up here that I drew today to make it look a little nicer than just a end of a video. And yeah. This has been a learning experience, but I hope you liked the video. I'm going to record more of this game and kind of do a let's play of it. And I'm going to end up doing more other games, a variety of stuff that doesn't show up on Twitch. So you can go to Twitch for certain things and then YouTube for certain things. So hope you liked it. Check out my Twitter and my Twitch and I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll catch you later. <laughs> Bye.